friends, this is MD Vegan. Today I'm a juice fasting day and I do that once a week. Or to be precise, in the rhythm of the moon. I do moon fasting. And you can too if you go to Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. That's on the Facebook site. We have a little community there. And every week also we post juice recipes and some nice information about the moon or fasting and there are so much studies now we're looking for studies who there's scientifically proof for um, the good benefits the benefits of the fasting on the human system so there are some out there now and even studies i heard about from a friend they are doing the studies on the ekadashi that means uh, the certain moon days 11 days after the sun after the full moon and 11 days after the new moon there is a certain um, constellation from the stars and the sun and the moon and the earth they they result um, in a balanced energies uh, from the gravitation yeah, on the earth our system so and the water element which is predominant in our bodies it's very important for cleansing they can do the very good cleansing job on these days so it's called ekadashi fasting or moon fasting and we fast the four times a month, say average once a week. And today I fast, usually I fast just with fresh juices. I make them on my own and they're super delicious and healthy and it's made so much fun. And today I make um, plant milk, yeah? plant-based milk and it is so, so nice for juice fasting. But you have, of course, to filter the, to filter the fiber out. So this, that's why I have this um, nut milk bag. It's a huge one. It's less expensive than the original nut milk bags. This is only a dollar or so. You can get them in, a, um, in the shop where you can buy tools for building a house and so. And um, they have it there in the States. I heard in Germany we have it at a different place in the pharmacy or a drugstore. But they are equally inexpensive and I can use them. So I prefer, of course, the inexpensive ones. Material is not that high quality, but it's so expensive, quite expensive, the tenth or so. A tenth is really something to worry about, I guess. Okay, I um, will make today, I will make a nut milk, which is not actually nut milk, but it's a peanut milk. So peanuts are legumes, and legumes are high in fat and um, proteins. That's a little bit different from the, from the actual legumes, like um, beans, yeah, soybeans or uh, peas yeah, or lentils or so. The peanuts are other legumes, but at the same time have many uh, qualities of ingredients from the real nuts. So I use them as the nuts and everybody does. So which pre pre uh, pre to be precise, they are not nuts. But um, they have some nice um, benefits for the system, for health system. We learn about, they have even recent studies show that they're really beneficial for the, uh, for the, um, for the um, intestine, for the, um, for the, <laughs> for the veins and for the arteries that make them more flexible. So that is very interesting because they are high in fat and still do that. We don't know why, but they're still finding out, but they have this effect. So very healthy, not in huge quantities, of course, they are high in fat. You don't should use the high fat and the high, and the high protein content so much, but a little bit and regularly peanuts are very healthy but they have some side effects too if you are for example allergic on peanuts you shouldn't use them of course because it can be very dangerous and for this purpose i always use raw peanuts and also wild organic peanuts organic is important because all the molds are not in there if you're lucky you have a good good kind good good uh, distributor so organic because of the molds and the toxics uh, additional to the peanuts, the storing and harvesting and all these things. Then I use um, raw peanuts because the recent studies show that even allergic reactions are triggered by the frying and the roasting process. Peanuts are usually in the West usually um, roasted because they are less bitter than after roasting. But in Asia, you see, there are not so many roasted peanuts. They use them in dishes, they cook them, they eat them raw, put them in, in, other, in, other, in other dressings or so. There's a different use, they are used to it in a different way than we do. So the roasting, and there, is a, there are even studies now, there's a Harvard study about that proves that are not allergic 
um, not so like not so easily causing allergic reactions if you don't roast them. So I eat them raw for that reason too, and I eat them from the jungle because they are so much more becoming to me. They are so much more delicious and a little bit more expensive. I don't eat that many anyway. So um, so they have to be raw for me, organic and wild. Sometimes I eat different kind of peanuts too, but if I have a choice, I always prefer these. Today I have already made peanut milk, and this just just a little bit sweetened with the date, you know, because um, I just wanted to know what it is like if these um, very characteristic flavor of a peanut, like metal a little bit, very strong flavor, that's from the protein of course, how would it was changed by a little bit of sweetness? And it was nice, you know. It's a very nice combination to combine peanut with a little bit of date. And today I will make a cacao, yeah, peanut cacao. And of course I will have to use a lot of date. <coughs> I have some more dates here that are seven dates. And it's not a liter even, not even a liter of um, peanut milk. It's maybe 0.8 or so. And I have um, two heaping spoons full, tablespoons full of chocolate powder or cacao. This is a raw chocolate powder too. And I know that peanut and chocolate are very nice together, especially dark chocolate. So I use a lot of a lot of peanut of chocolate powder, cacao powder for this. This is what I combined today in my blender. I put the peanut milk in. And you might wonder why he's using plant milk for a fasting. Yeah, that's oftentimes I put the dates in. Oftentimes I at the end of the day, especially at the end of the day, I want to have a little dessert in the fasting. And I will, um, then I make nut milks, and they are so delicious. You will see. If you fast only once, once a week, only one day, that is super efficient. And studies also show that this is a long-term scene, the most efficient way to fast at all. Because some people are doing the weeks and weeks of fasting. I did that before, too, in my old yoga career. I always did the fasting for long periods of time, and it was a, what very, very uh, helpful, of course, helped me, my health system, but it brought me out of the balance. And if you do it every week, once only, that is the most balanced way. And that's why in the long term, it's, more, it's logic, it's simple logic, it's more efficient. So anybody can do it yeah, on the large scale, efficiency on the large scale for the whole com uh, culture, of course. Not only from my personal view, but on a large scale, it's more important. More efficient, once a week, and you're good. So let's see. I'm like a blender dance, okay? <laughs> Additional sweetness, no additional cacao powder. It's nice as it is, and it's still light. It's a nice light cacao. I'm so excited. Probably will filter it now, so I don't want to have the fibers on a fasting day. It's always nice <clears throat> because fasting is as we do it in Triyoga Moon Fast. That's the way it was invented. This kind of fasting was invented by Yogini Kaiji, a great yoga master, renowned in the whole world. Uh, teaching in uh, 40 more countries, where the centers are there, tri yoga centers, and thousands of teachers are teaching there uh, the tri yoga, and we teach you too. <laughs> and she invented it and um, taught us how to do it. And um, and that is, um, yeah, it's a very pleasant way to fast, and um, it makes it so nice. Um, I just wanted to say, <laughs> forgive me, please. 
come, comes back later if it's important. So now I introduce the Rabbinic Hajj and the Trio of Moonfast. So yeah, that's 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 the origin of the Trio of Moonfast. It's from from Trio Gaia. Yeah, it's, it's it's a yoga discipline, and um, it's part of a healthy lifestyle, and it's a way to reflect everything. Oh wow, it's so easy to press it to the not look back. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, that's why I wanted to explain it. It was just a side, a side note, a note on the side where it comes from, the origin of the Chirurgia Munfast. Just to be fair, who made it? Where does it come from? Good. Yeah, what I wanted to say is in, 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 in the moon fast, in the gentle juice fasting, in the Chirurgia Munfast, we do it uh, not because of the calories, uh, because of the uh, nutrients. We don't want to take away from the nutrients. We, don't, we want to take away from the calories. That's what it is about. And the fiber, of course. Because that is what gives the intestines, yeah, our system, something to work. Uh, with food, we take food in for the energy of the body, to nurture, to nurture our, nourish our body. That's the baseline, very simple. And um, to get this energy, usually we take firm food, yeah, like apples or potatoes or whatever. Then the body has to work to get that energy. The intestine works. It's a very, very important health system. The 70% of our um, health system is living in the intestines, where we can uh, push away our enemies, yeah, <laughs> uh, Italy. That's in the intestines. And the intestines have to be free to rest, to be fast. So we don't need no energy to get the energy from the food. The food is just the juices of the nut milk and goes directly into the blood and the system and we can enjoy all the energy on our own without having to share anything with, the, with some workers in our intestines and that's the big part that's the big story and it's so simple that's why we do the fasting regularly to get all the energy and now I put the juice um, the cacao into a container I can enjoy and pour a glass I show you and, well, wait a second, so here, show you what it looks like when it flows into the glass and it is really super, super light, yeah, it's a nice, enjoyable cacao for a fasting day even, it's that light it is, and if you drink the peanut milk, of course you have not to be, you must not be an allergic to it, of course that's important. But then, if you are healthy and drink the peanut milk, it is such a nice feeling. You have to try it. And I will try the chocolate, cacao. I love cacao once in a while. It's very nice. And it gives a nice night energy boom. And it's also different if you don't cook the cacao. If you don't roast the beans, you have the raw cacao. You try, should try it. What, it, what it makes does to your system. And to me, it's a whole different world. But the raw food world. I like cooking. Not to be mistaken, I love cooking potatoes and rice and beans and all these things, wonderful healthy things. But the raw food thing is a totally different one. And especially the cacao or so, yeah, has a specially different, different um, um, effect on my system. So it doesn't make me really um, nervous. Like when I drink a hot cacao, it gets very much fire gets up into my head. It's very, it's, it's also nice, but if you do it raw, then somehow the energy is more balanced, to me it seems. It doesn't jump that high into my head. I don't know what, if, I, if you know what I'm talking about, you can have your own feelings about it, your experience, that's what is most important in the food. And if you enjoy it, you can also subscribe MDV on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, 